My daughter, Aubriana, turned six years old on September the 8th. And if you missed on bestowing gifts upon her, you can write a check to cash and send it to me. She also likes adult-sized t-shirts in Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Star Wars, and comic book characters. On September 8th every year, this is quite a unique experience. On one hand, we celebrate this beautiful spark plug of life and passion. On the other hand, it's the day that my beloved grandmother, Nana, passed away two years before Aubriana was born. Evelyn Roden, Nana, was one of the most remarkable women in my life. She taught me so much about living, humor, family, and faith. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't miss her vibrant smile, her wry sense of humor, her tender heart, her fantastic cooking, and unabashed hospitality. Remembering those who've gone before us is a healthy and beautiful way to continue to be formed in our faith journey. The church has set days aside for such spiritual endeavors. We call it All Saints Day and All Souls Day. Formerly started in the 7th century by Pope Boniface IV, to recognize canonized saints, November 1st, All Saints Day, has taken on various significance among the Christian tradition. For the free church, the day beckons us to remember those who've gone before us in faith and to be formed by the Spirit of God from our journey. All Souls Day, November 2nd, has a similar feel to it. This day stretches back to the 13th century to celebrate all Christians who've died and gone before us. So as you prepare for All Saints Day and All Souls Day, you are invited to engage in spiritual disciplines of journaling. In this simple exercise, recall those who've gone before you as an incredible and indelible mark on your life. Consider what about their faith journey inspires you to be formed by the Spirit of God. After you've reflected on these attributes, write a prayer of thanksgiving to God. Consider sharing a story of this person who was meaningful to you with a picture using the hashtag All Saints Day or hashtag All Souls Day and checking in at UBC on Facebook or Instagram. On November the 1st, on Sunday, we'll celebrate these significant days in the liturgical calendar. If you're worshiping from home, we invite you to prepare for worship by having a candle and a lighter ready with you. So we light a candle to remember those who've gone before us. And we pray to the Spirit of God that we might be empowered to live out the character and faith of such people who have formed us.